Jennifer Ryan, Paul Sweeney, live here in our Bloomberg Interactive Studio, relocated down to the offices of Build American Mutual. We're down at uh, World Financial Center. I think it's 200 Liberty Street. Great, great part of Manhattan. We're also streaming live on YouTube, so head over to YouTube.com and search Bloomberg Radio. Well, as I've said before, I, I tell every governor of New Jersey, I am basically the largest private creditor to the state of New Jersey with all the municipal bonds I, I own. So um, when, when I call, they pick up the phone. Let's put it that way. Uh, our next guest really knows what's going on in municipal bond business, David Dowden. He's a managing director at Mackay Shields. He's a portfolio manager there. He's been in the meeting business for uh, decades. He joins us live here at the Build America Mutual offices. Uh, David, thanks for joining us. Talk to us about kind of how you guys at Mackay Shields I guess, approach the municipal bond business. Where do you guys like to play? Where do you see opportunity? Sure, absolutely. Um, we have a very simple process and thought uh, about munis, which is that the muni market's very broad. It's really 50 little markets, not one national market. Ah. It's predominated really by investor, individual investors. Those investors, unfortunately, are usually ill-informed about what's going on Me. in the market. <laughs> and as a result, uh, this creates a lot of inefficiencies. Um, those inefficiencies we think we can take advantage of. A lot of people think of munis as a income only investment. We believe we can generate total return through that in those inefficiencies. The beauty of that is it that's a trade you can do in up and down markets and it's a trade that um, is highly repeatable. So talk to talk a little bit more about the inefficiencies that you see and one thing I'm really interested in is what this does to flows. I mean I, are you seeing the prospect for flows improving next year? Is investment going to tail off? What What's your take? So it's interesting. We've uh, that's a <laughs> munis are a um, highly what we call technical market, so driven by supply and demand. Flows are a big part of that, and uh, what we tend to see is that uh, the flows into mutual funds are a good proxy for where demand is in the market. And as a result, uh, in munis right now, we have continued to be under um, uh, the pressure of outflows. Those outflows right now, I think, are being driven more by the desire to do what we call tax swaps on the part of advisors. So they're selling funds that are at losses, and they're going into other funds to capture those losses. Um, going into next year, our expectation is that uh, once largely the intermediaries of the market, advisors, RIAs, start to have comfort that the Fed has come to an end in its tightening regime. It doesn't have to necessarily start easing, but just that the, we're coming to the end, we'll start to see confidence and the desire to put money back into the market. Bear in mind, we've had interest rates go up over 270 basis points since 21. Uh, interest rates in the muni market are high, and they're quite attractive. ETFs. Everybody's got an ETF. Makai, you guys have ETFs for the municipal bond space, right? T tell us about the kind of your ETF offerings and kind of what your what type of market you're trying to, uh, you know, attract. If you think about the premise behind ETFs, one of the requirements is having a liquid market that's easily tradable and. Uh, benchmarks that are easily uh, mimicked. That's not the muni market. <laughs> it is plagued by periods of illiquidity. Uh, the benchmark has tens of thousands of issues in it. And historically, we were not in ETFs because they were passive index matching funds. Uh, when we had the ability to launch ETFs that were actively managed, we then went into the market. So we are we don't want to make concessions based on the vehicle that we're investing in. So what we've done is we've created ETFs that allow us to fully uh, demonstrate our belief in relative, uh, you know, value total return investing in munis. So, can you walk me through a little bit about what the competition is for yourselves in the muni space? You've got you've got the big ETFs, but then what about open and mutual funds? Um, so uh, we have a business model that uh, manages effectively three sleeves. We have a sub-advisory business to mutual funds. Uh, the primary is through our parent, New York Life Investment Management, so the mainstay funds. We are managing, uh, and that would be the ETFs, uh, high net worth money in private funds and then institutional. Our biggest competition, I would say, um, from, a, from a big picture would be uh, today, SMAs, so um, separate managed accounts, these are 
platforms where uh, an advisor tells their client, you have $250,000, let's set up a managed portfolio. In your, you'll see the bonds at all times. The flows there have been tremendous. Uh, the impact of SMAs have created this um, dichotomy in the market where the front end of the muni market is exceptionally expensive, uh, does not offer a lot of value. Um, these types of products are more like laddered portfolios. Um, the, uh, the second would be other mutual funds, clearly. And then I think certainly you can't ignore the ETFs. The big index ETFs are uh, drawing a lot of flows. You know, you mentioned earlier that you view the municipal bond market as 50 submarkets. I, I take that to mean, I mean, I hadn't heard that before. It's kind of interesting. Is that 50 states we're referring to? Yeah, the number isn't exact. But uh, roughly. But, but based on the fact so that So do you, you guys have, have to have a, do you have a state call or do you have to go every local issuer when you do your analysis? Do you say, boy, anything comes out of Texas, you know, I'm going to take a look at, whereas Michigan I'm not as bullish on. How do you guys think about the, the, the submarkets? We take it from both ends. We have a larger macro view, which will be a function of our economic outlook. It'll be a function of what we think the technicals will be in the muni market, uh, general credit fundamentals. And then um, as we are building portfolios, we are using our credit research team on a bond by bond basis. So everything that goes into a client's portfolio has been um, reviewed and assessed for its value within the strategy we're employing. So just to key off that point you just made about looking at credit fundamentals, what's your overall take on those? You know, we've had a lot of talk about a soft landing, a slowdown already on its way. Yes, uh, you know, um, municipal bonds in general, uh, municipal finance did very well coming out of COVID. In general, you both yep. could continue to pay your taxes. Yep. And um, what we're seeing is that muni finance is in good shape. Um, probably the biggest headline out there is the concern about commercial real estate. And I think with respect to that, our role for our clients is to differentiate from the headline to what we know are the core financials. And in that respect, um, we are still very comfortable with, uh, with certainly the major um, urban uh, credits that we have exposure to. David, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, David Dowden, he's a managing director at Mackay Shields putting some of that money to work in the municipal bond market, which is the focus of us today here at Mackay Shields. At, I mean, down here at uh, Build America Mutual.